In this video we are going to see how a webhook based trigger option can be used in automation. Webhook based trigger is useful when you have third party services like Freshdesk or SendGrid or any other services and you want to get notified when a new ticket is added in Freshdesk or when your email sent from SendGrid is opened by a user or other such events from these external services. In this case, you will have to register our automation webhook URL in third party services. Let's start by selecting a webhook trigger and click continue. Under configure webhook, we can see this webhook URL that you can copy and paste it in third party services. Or you can even call this webhook using curl request with test input data on the terminal or you can call from any other REST client. For sake of simplicity we will call this endpoint from REST client. Let me paste the webhook endpoint and the method type as post automation webhook accepts JSON body as an incoming request. Here I have a test JSON with two keys namely name and category. Test JSON body you are using for testing this webhook should have same format as that of the actual third party service request format where you will be registering this webhook. Let me click on send to call this webhook. Here we got the 200 success response from webhook automation along with our request parameters indicating our request has been received by this webhook. Here, you can see our test data is received and added over here. You can call this webhook with different test data and we can select different test data as input to test our webhook. Currently I have a single test data, I will simply select sample data A which has name as JSON and category has leads. Now, I have already configured an add sales webhook workflow in the automation tutorial app which when called will create a new entry in the sales sheet. So in action part, let me select automation tutorial app and workflow I will select add sales webhook and click on done. Similar to sheet based trigger, we have options based on the test data received by webhook. Here you can see, our test data has two keys namely name and category. Let me select corresponding keys. I can alternatively provide static value as well. Let me click on done and under test task option I can either skip or test this webhook automation. Let me click on test and once this workflow is executed successfully we will see a new entry in our sales sheet with name, JSON under leads category. So our webhook seems to be working fine. Let's give a webhook name and enable this toggle to make it live. So now I can add this automation webhook URL in Freshdesk automation whenever a new ticket is added and this webhook will be called that will create a new entry in my sales sheet. Or you can add this webhook URL in any third party service providers where you want to receive a particular event. This is how we configure webhook trigger type in automation. Thank you for watching. For more videos visit our YouTube page.